we're in my basement and I finally decided to get rid of our old dryer. It broke several years ago and well honestly there's no real incentive to fix it because it's kind of a waste because we can just hang up anything that we need to dry and it'll dry for free. We don't have to waste electricity to dry things. And now the problem is that because it's basically dead space it basically just it's a magnet for junk so I'm, I'm getting all this cleaned up I'm gonna get rid of this and then my mom will get rid of some of the other stuff that was on it because most of the stuff it's just she hasn't had time to go through this and it just kind of accumulates so in our continuing efforts to get rid of junk this will be the next step to go I think I should probably put a trash can down here for my mother because a lot of the stuff that's up here is years of things that are found in pockets but because there's no trash can down here you're always like oh I'll just set it here and I'll throw it away later well later's now now to address all the haters that are gonna be like just get a dumpster and throw away your entire house well I can't do that because there is some nice stuff hidden in the, like um, among all this stuff I need to go through it but pretty much all of this stuff is not mine it's my mother's and so I can't throw that away all I can do is persuade her to go through it and up until now I, we, the main issue was we just didn't have much time to go through all of this like I was investing most of my time in my YouTube channel and whatnot and I also had a, less of an idea of what I wanted to keep and less of an, of an idea of like how to organize things and so yeah I definitely was uh, more of a hoarder back then but now we're trying to fix that so stop getting upset at like oh you're such a hoarder like we're throwing away far more than we're taking into the house so actually we're not a hoarder now we are we are non hoarders dealing with our past hoarding I guess yeah because hoarders don't throw away a bunch of stuff compared to what they bring in hoarders hoard you know so now the main issue with this is that it's right next to the water line and so we have to move this out that's why I'm cleaning up all this stuff we do not want to mess up this water line because it's our water line Well, that's actually not that bad. It only took me an hour to get to this point, so it's actually a pretty good schedule. Now I'll take all that stuff out and that'll clean it up even more. So it's been about two months. My mom cleaned it up a little bit. And it's been used as a nice little laundry area to go with the washing machine. 
but I forgot to put down the trash can so she didn't really clean up much so now she's gonna like probably go through all that shit because I mean she got it down a good deal but the rest of us just a bunch of little stuff and I bet by having this trash can here it'll definitely help her clean things up my mom's been having to work with the sewer line and stuff like that though a lot so I mean yeah she has a lot on her plate to deal with so I don't blame her but still I, I just don't really have the the right to go through her things and throwing them away you know that's just not how we work in our family but either way it's better than it was before it's easier to access the water line it's easier to get to the sewer line and snake that out I have actually some room for some laundry and the little shelf with the detergent underneath it and all that kind of stuff and the sewer repair tools so yeah I think it's definitely an upgrade and a lot nicer than before at least a little bit. So anyway, I've been putting a lot of my time into my bedroom, trying to clean this up, and I've decided, honestly, I'm getting pretty tired of having so much work stuff in my room. I kind of feel trapped, like like I'm living in my cubicle, pretty much. So I'm thinking eventually I'm going to start moving pretty much everything out of my room, to where I even I'll have this workbench in the basement, and I can just have like room for all my books and whatnot. But this is a good improvement because I moved out a bunch of, like, I'd say six big tubs, six big bins of stuff that all went into the basement. So the basement is pretty much filled up now, but we've been there before. I'd rather have a clean bedroom at this time. There's still a surfeit of work-related things, but it's, they're, they're more fun work-related things. Like, for instance, these subscriber packages and, and these parts for, uh, upcoming liquid fueled rocket engine project. The first thing I did was I, I removed my my big chair because I used to have a big chair in here from like the 1970s and honestly it just collected junk because whenever I edit videos now I do it in bed because it's a bed because why not. So I got rid of that and that opened up a big section. The cat really liked it because she likes this floor now and she also has that section over there. Oh. It's like her little spot in there now. I kept that open and she runs in there and hides in there. Then this, I put up this little shelf system here. So I have books, DVDs, comics and stuff like that and game manuals. And then the top shelf is like chips and just miscellaneous stuff that I don't want to have in the pantry. And I want to have it like really close. And right now I have my computer sitting up here. So whenever I want to continue my gaming channel, I take my, my table out and my chair Oh, I also cleaned up all this stuff. So I didn't realize that that whole bottom shelf was still my mom's stuff before. And I ran some stuff up here. So I got rid of all that and that opened up a bunch of space. And then I could play games on my like my good gaming machine without having like a big thing set up for it. And then when I'm done I can put it away. Oh, and I also added this power strip underneath my workbench. So now I have a place to charge my batteries and power everything by. For the longest time, I just had a power strip going across here to my main power connector, which goes to my single power plug in the entire room, which is right there. So, I mean, running the entire room off of one power plug is a pain in the butt. But now what happens is power goes through there, goes into the battery backup, then it goes up this yellow cord, up here, down here, underneath the workbench, and in here. And so what that means is everything connected to this is on a battery backup. So if I'm gaming, now I have like 20 minutes of battery life left over in case there's a brownout or something. Should still work. Yep, works great. Yep. It's just so nice not to have a cable going across here, oh. but instead going over the wall and whatnot. Now it would be nice to have it going through the wall and have like outlets in the room, but yeah, whatever. It's an old, it's an old weird house. Look at this old suitcase that I picked up for us, uh, six dollars. 
It's pretty nice. I think it's 1950s or maybe 1960s. It's a Weary. W-H-E-A-R-Y. It's broken so that the wood moves in. So I'm going to probably do a video where we open that up and remove the liner and fix the wood. This would be cool. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I think my bedroom cleaning has come a long way and organization has really allowed me to pack a lot of stuff into this room. However, I can go further, so I'll just continue working on it slowly. I'm really happy with it though. I think it's nice and livable while also being just a good inspiration because I have no shortage of ideas. It's just a shortage of motivation. And I mean, if you put any hacker or nerd in a room like this there's like no end to the number of videos they can think of so a lot of this is just so i can continue my channel because I, I do need a place where i can be exposed to a lot of things and just like think about them and think "Ooh, what should we do with them you know what i mean because if this room was totally empty i'd go crazy so it's it's finding a good mix that's really the key Oh, and just to update you guys on the storage unit, I've also been cleaning that up. Got a good amount of stuff taken out of here. I'd say we filled up three or four trash cans of things. Also sold a bunch of things. And, oh, weird. That's not good. Everything's all wet. We have to really work on the moisture issues in here. But either way, we have a lot of stuff packed into this one little storage unit. And a lot of stuff's still gonna leave. Like, I might have three buyers for these signs now, and I might be able to get about $3,000 from both of them. These, like, Lisa Dick Brothers ones. Because they are pretty big and in actually surprisingly good condition. So, I might be able to get a good amount of money from that. And I hope I can actually use some of that money towards, like, buying tanks for rocket engines or whatnot. Yeah, everything's all wet. This thing didn't have any rust on it at all until it came here. So when I get my printing press here, I'm definitely going to have to coat it in some oil or something because that just won't do at all. It's one of the big problems with Illinois. Everything's just dripping with moisture. Because, well, it's basically swampland that was cleaned out to make farmland. Once I get this stuff cleaned up even more, I will slowly start putting down plastic on the floor to help with the moisture problems. But either way, there should end up being a lot less stuff than there is right now. Because a lot of this stuff is going to be going to like the antique shop and whatnot. Oof. That is really bad. I guess I should let this air out for a little bit and just uh let all this moisture, oh god. I didn't realize it was that bad here. Oh well. So that's pretty much it. A little update on how cleaning and organization has been going over the past few months since December. And I think it's going pretty well. I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm slowly taking more steps to make the world around me that I have control of into a more organized and efficient state. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching. See ya.